shadow goes. <laughs> adventure of the shadow is about to start. But first, I want to tell you how you can start out on a trip and be protected against both punctures and blowouts. Equip your car with the Goodrich Steelomatic Safety Tube, the sensational two-way lifesaver tube that automatically self-seals punctures while you ride. Yes, this tube will protect you against the trouble of changing tires along the road. But what is even more important to your safety the special plastic rubber compound inside this tube also fills up rips and tears. Thus, serious tube injuries which would normally cause blowouts are changed into slow, safe leaks. Get Goodrich Steelomatic Safety Tube. They'll save you time and trouble, and they may save your life. Shadow, mysterious character who devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town, student of science, and master of other people's minds. Using advanced methods that may ultimately become available to all law enforcement agencies, Cranston is known to criminals and evildoers as the Shadow. Never seen, only heard as haunting to superstitious minds, as a ghost, as inevitable as a guilty conscience. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the unseen voice belongs. Today's story, Island of the Devil. You're really dead? I'm sure if you think I have eyes like an owl, who can see down in that filthy cell? Every morning, I throw down some food, as the regulations order me, and that, that's all I know. Me, I, I do not like to go down there. They say the rats are as large as dogs. Ah, you talk, talk, talk all the time like an old woman. Ah, is this work for a man? A jailer on the island of Royal. Ah, you are an old woman. Come, hold up the lantern, so I can see where I'm going. Come. So cold and wet. Hold the lantern, I tell you. Mm, such a filthy hole in the ground. The pig could not live here, let alone a man. Oh, stop talking, I tell you. If you see it, you better fall in. Watch where you stand. Oh, yes. Water over the floor. How could a man live in this damp and cold and dark for so long? Answer me that. I do not know answer. Just like the other bad prisoners who tried to escape, I put the bread and water on the shelf. Always, it is gone. You forget the rat. Oh, you think... Ah, that... who wants to think? Here. Is this the cell? Hey, this is the one. Open it. This cell. All right, all right. I'll find the key. When you have John Dart, come and dance it, huh? Bones will bring him. Ah, pick off a lock. So rusty. <laughs> no, dear, even if the man lives, he must be... Come on. Let us get out of here. No, no, Wait. Turn the hand. And I say, let us get out of here. We will tell the commander the man is dead. No. I will have a look inside. If he is dead, I want to know it. He has been 20 years on this side. And in all those 20 years, they tell me he's spoken only one word. A woman's name. Oui. Madame Rene. I've heard them curse the name a thousand times. Hold up the lantern. <clears throat> look. Ah, I was right. He is dead. No, look. It moved. No. He's getting up. Come, Jordan. Run. The devil himself. Run. Run. He's He's trying to speak. Madame Renee. Madame Renee. Madame Renee. Renee. 
Madam Renee. More coffee? No, no. Thank you, Monsieur Cranston. It was very kind of you to take me along on your beautiful ship. Is it not true, Mademoiselle? Not at all. There are few enough interesting people in this world. Lamont has a good sense to recognize one when he meets her. <laughs> well spoken, Margot. <laughs> you are both too kind to an old woman. There I was, bored to death in Havana, praying for excitement, and then you two come along. A mutual friend, an introduction, and here I am on your beautiful ship, drawing closer and closer to the island of the devil. It is the island full of the devils. Why should you say that, Madame Renee? They're criminals true enough to the human beings. They're suffering far from their homes and friends. I'm afraid you are both too sentimental, my friend. Far too sentimental. Oh, on the contrary, Madame Renee. I certainly would be the last person in the world to hold a brief for habitual criminals. And yet at the same time, I can't help but feel sorry for those men condemned to live in that hellhole. Don't you agree with that, Madame Renee? I repeat, Monsieur Cranston, you are far too sentimental. For my part, whoever goes to the island of the devil can stay there. And rock. Pardonnez, mon commandant. Well, well, what is it, Taylor? Come closer. Transit number 377. You asked to see him. 300. Oh, yes, yes. Jean-Bart. He can walk? Oui. He can walk. <laughs> the devil brought a tough one. Well, don't stand there. Bring him in. Oui, commandant. Jean-Bart. Come in here. Come in. Come in, John Bath. Close up. So, John Bath, you're still alive, eh? You know, if it was not for your eyes, I would think I was looking at a dead man. Well, have you nothing to say? Madame. Madame Renee. Madame Renee. For the ten years I've been commandant of this hellhole, and for the ten years my predecessor was here, all we hear from you is Madame Renee. Madame Renee. Have you no other words? Madame Renee. Uh, madman. Him, they want to pardon. Pardon? You. You spoke. Pardon? You said pardon. I heard you. You said pardon. Send you said pardon for me. Stand back, you I said. Stand back. But you said. Pardon. Yes, yes, a pardon. It is on its way. On its way? The devil knows why they gave it to you. They knew the trouble you caused me. Well, I did nothing. Oh, no, certainly not. All of these islands, Royal, Saint Joseph, they are full of innocent, persecuted men who have done nothing. My pardon. Yes, yes, you will get your pardon. They bring it from the mainland. When you get it, what then, John Barr? Madame Renee. I'm coming back for you, Madame Ray. Madame Renee, you seem impatient. Of course I am, Madame Zelaine. How much longer is the boat going to stay in this terrible harbor? Oh, just a few minutes longer. The man said he'd be back as soon as he... Oh, there he is now, coming up the side. That man... Who is that man with Mr. Cranston? That's a surprise. Hello, Margot. Hello. Uh, Margot, I want you to meet Mr. Randall. Miss Lane. Mr. Randall? I'm delighted, I'm sure. And, uh, Madame Rene, this is Mr. Randall. Mr. Cranston, what is this surprise? Miss Lane was saying... Yes, Lamont, tell Madame Rene about it. Well, Mr. Cranston? The surprise is just this. We're actually going to be able to land on the island. What? How is that? You said permission could not be secure. The permission is right with me, Madame Rene. In the person of Mr. Randall here. And how is that? Uh, suppose you tell him, Mr. Randall. Oh, I'd be very happy to. You see, madam, I'm affiliated with the council at Vienna. My friend, Mr. Franson, while at the head, that he was stopping off the mainland before going on to the island. I was very pleased to be able to tell him that since I had a fiscal business on the island, if he wished to do me the service of taking me there from the mainland, I'd be very... Uh, We'll be able to make a arrangement for your lad. No, isn't that thrilling, Madame Renee? We'll actually be able to see the prison. And I'm sure both of you will find the experience doubly thrilling when you discover Mr. Randall's official business. He's bringing a pardon to one of the prisoners. A man apparently wrongfully convicted. Who's been buried alive in that place for 20 years. Oh, Lamont, how wonderful. Wait. How can that be? <gasps> Madame Renee. Uh, quick, get some water. Uh, no, no. Go oh, on. I'll go right. I'll take you below. No, no. 
I am quite sorry. Believe me. I am a poor fellow, Monsieur Randall. Not at all. It's getting quite rough. Uh, Monsieur Randall, if you would be so kind as to escort me around the deck. I'd be delighted. We'll be back in a moment, my friend. And don't overexert yourself, madam. I think tomorrow when I'll go below. See you later. Right you are, Cranston. My arm, madam, lady? You are too kind, Monsieur Randall. Shall we go up? Yes. Some place where we will be quite away from everyone. You see, I want to talk with you. So, let me stand here by the rail, Monsieur Randall. Just as you say, madam, eh? Oh, you go with us to this island on a mission of mercy, Monsieur? Yes, a very pleasant mission, I assure you. The, uh, pardon, may I ask who it is for? Oh, yes, for a man by the name of John Bart. John Bart, Senorita. You say you, you know the man? Is that so strange? Yes, rather. I know the name well, Monsieur. This pardon, Monsieur, it is in your pocket? Yes, of course. But really, what is this all about? What is your interest in this, uh, John Bart? Come close, monsieur, and I will tell you my interest. Yes? My interest in this John Bart is so great that you die. That knife, what the hell? <laughs> if you can, the fog, no one will see this scandal. How unfortunate for you. The end of Act One finds all signs pointing to a thrilling climax in this latest adventure of the shadow. Speaking of signs, the careful motorist you know takes advantage of every sign along the road to make his driving safe. The shadow knows. Stop street signs. Railroad crossing signals, signs that warn of slippery pavements and dangerous hills, are put up with one idea in mind. To save your life and the lives of everyone who drives, it pays to obey them. It pays to play safe. Motorists, when it comes to getting more safety and pleasure out of your driving, you can't beat this combination. The new Goodrich Safety Silvertown Tire and the new Goodrich Steelomatic Safety Tube. For remember, the new Silvertown tire will give you the quickest non-skid stop you've ever had on wet roads. It also gives you the famous golden fly protection against high-speed blowouts caused by internal tire heat. And the new Goodrich Steelomatic Safety Tube automatically self-seals punctures while you ride. Furthermore, this amazing tube gives you additional protection against blowouts caused by serious tube injuries. Thus, rips and tears that would normally cause a blowout are turned into slow, safe leaks. If you want real protection against skids, blowouts, punctures, get this safety combination now. The new Goodrich Safety Silvertown Tire with the new Goodrich Steelomatic Safety Tube. <laughs> Is there any hope, Lamont? See for yourself, Margot. Fog throws the searchlights of our ship back in our faces. Poor Randall's in the water. Oh, no, Lamont. It can't be true. It can't. You know the truth as well as I do, Margot. We've searched this ship from stem to stern. He's not on board. But how... How could it have happened? That's a truth that I can't answer, Margot. But perhaps the shadow can. But what can the shadow do? Madame Rene is below deck, sleeping quite calmly. But what is she to do with all Perhaps this? nothing, Margot. Perhaps everything. When we discovered that Randall was missing, she alone was calm, unconcerned. Yes, even amused. I think it's time the shadow paid a visit on Madame Rene. Madame Rene. Madame Rene, wake up. Yes, yes, wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Come, Madame Rene, wake up. Who? Who spoke? Someone spoke. <laughs> yes, Madame Rene. Someone in my room. Who is it? Who? I have questions to ask. 
ask you, Madame Renee. Oh, there you come into my room. Light. I will make a light and see. No one. No one is here. <laughs> I am close to you, Madame Renee. The boy. Close to me. I see no one. I will it so. You. Where are you? I am here in this room. I cloud your mind so you cannot see me. But you. You saw a man die, and yet you did not help him. I saw a man die. In the sea. And you did not raise your voice. You did let Randall die. But why? Why did you do it, Madame Rene? No. I won't answer you. Just the boy. Madame Rene. Stop talking to me. Tell me why. You've got to tell me why, Madame Rene. Tell me why, Madame Rene. Why did you tell Rene? He had to. He was trying to let John Bart go free. John Bart, he must rot there. Rot there on the island of the devil. Why? Where are you now? Why? Where are you now? Welcome, Monsieur Cuesto. The wireless from the mainland they turned to expect your arrival. But you're hours late. I'm sorry, Commandant. The delay was caused by death. Death? What do you mean, Monsieur Cuesto? Mr. Randall of the legation was lost at sea. Monsieur? He searched the water for hours. He's gone. But how? What? All that in good time, Commandant. But first, have you a prisoner on this island by the name of John Bart? John Bart? What was John Bart? He is a prisoner here? Yes, he is. Probably some fool that we find to escape. Thank heaven I will soon be rid of him. Rid of him? How? And my last communique, they spoke of a pardon for this man. So that was it. What the... Wait, wait. I want to see this man, John Bart. But, monsieur, this is irregular. What have you to do with him? The man who drowned at sea carried in his pocket the pardon for John Bart. What? And I have an idea that the murderer is on board my yacht. Mon Dieu. And I'm going to change that theory into a certainty at once. Take me to John Bart. Commander was... Commander! Commander, he's gone! Commander, he's gone! Faster. Faster, man. Can't you go faster? <laughs> you are most indignant, young boy. Oh, huh? I must get away this time. You say my pardon was denied. It was, young boy. But you will escape. Leave it to old Couget. Oh, I've tried for so many times. But never with the clever Couget to help you now, did you, huh? <laughs> yeah, the oldest god on the island. And the cleverest. Uh, oh, uh, a ship. Yes, Jumbo. Uh, a very nice ship. Anchored and waiting. Yes, but who? Who? Friends, friends. Oh, no. No, I have no friends. Oh, yes, they were friends enough. To send word that your pardon had been denied. Friends enough to send a sailor to me with a bag of gold so heavy that I... <laughs> I forgot my duty and I... Well, here you are, jean -Bart. The sailor told me a rope ladder would be down the side of... Yes, yes. Yes, it is. So, now oh, we, we drift in close. Now... Grab the ladder, your boss. Yes, but I, I don't know who... I mean, I... Who oh, grab the ladder and climb. There's no pardon for you. Do you want to be buried under the ground again? No, no, no. no. And grab the ladder and climb. You have strength enough for that. And when you get on deck, a sailor will be there to take you to your friends. I am aboard. Oh, yes, yes, I... I will. I, I am... I'm a bit weary, see what I... You I'll think try. you're free now, John Bart, eh? Huh? God bless you, Crochet. <laughs> no. Bless the gold, your... your friend. <laughs> oh. Dark in here. But I am free. I am free. Except the boy, John Bart. Well, who, who spoke? So dark, I can't see you. I arranged your escape. Oh, my friend. You, whoever you are, you help me. I 
Yes, of course. Oh, I... I am so very weary. If you could forgive me, I... I would like to sit down. There is a chair right next to you. Eh? Oh, oh, yes. My eyes, you know. It, it is dark in here, isn't it? Oh. I, I'm not very strong, you know. Oh, I... I hear you close and... and lock the door. You feel old, uh, jean -Bas? Oh, yes, I... Your voice, I... I've heard it before. How does it seem to be old, jean -Bas? But you, but you, who are you? Who are you? The light, and you will see. Uh, now, uh, you are old too, jean -Bas. Madame Renée! Madame Renée! Oh, I advise you to sit as you are. It's come in my hand, it's quite the real one. Madame Renée! <laughs> you have not forgotten my name. How? Nothing. For 20 years, that name of yours has burned in my head. For 20 long years. No, I am more than a name. I swore to kill you every day, every hour. I and I saw something too, remember? To make you as old as you call me that day 20 years ago. Remember your words, Zumbat? Oh, I swore to make you old. Make you old as you call me, and I have made you old. For 20 years, I've had every year of your life. I'm going to kill you. Remember, jean -Bas? It was the war. I accused you as a spy. Mm. You didn't have a chance against my influence, did you? No. I did it, jean -Bas. I did it. Now you're so weak and old. All you can do is to sit there white and tense with anger. Mm. But that won't help you. Because I didn't bring you here just to talk to you. I brought you here for my final revenge. To kill you. you. You brought me here. Yes. yes, a bullet through your head and a state prisoner. They'll thank me for killing you. <laughs> you hear from Bart, they'll thank me for killing you. <laughs> no, Madame Rene. Who spoke? A voice you've heard before. A voice? You wanted to walk me from my sleep? No. There is no voice. Just imagination. You hear me, John Bart? Yes. Yes, I hear a voice. You lie. There is no one here but you and I. Stand up, so bad. Stand up so I can see you fall when the bullet hits you. No, Madame Renee. Come out of my hand. She will not harm you, John Bart. Yes, but who? Who are you? To her, a voice of conscience. To you, a friend. No, no, I, I have no friend. A pardon. They said it was coming to me and, and they fooled me. They did not fool you, John Bart. There was a pardon never reached you because Madame Rene did not want it to reach you. She murdered the man who was bringing it to you. Madame Rene, you again. Yes, yes, I killed him. And I'm going to kill you now, Tumba. I want you, Madame Rene. Not another step closer to him. Uh, so with her money, she railroaded me to a prison cell and then to that island. And now, now I'm old. As old as I called her. And I haven't even got the strength for my revenge. But I've got the strength for mine. <sighs> gun. In the folds of your dress. Yes. Yes, you voice in the shadows. I had a gun hid in my dress. Yes, indeed. No, it's dead. Look. Dead. And I've had my revenge. I'm still alive and you're dead, John Bart. You're dead. <laughs> What are you going to do now, voice? Don't move. But he's dead. Look at him. He's dead. I failed him in life, Madame Rene, but I will not fail him in death. I'll stay close by you, talking, talking to you until you can stand it no longer. No. Get out of here. No, I will always follow you. I'll tell you of your crime, the torture and murder of a living being. Stop. Wait for you. I will. I will. This ship and all the world is too small for you to escape. My voice close to you. I'll get away from you. I won't listen to you. I won't listen. And I'll stay close to you forever, Madame Rene. I'll be the voice of John Bart calling no. you. I'll get away from you. Away from you. Ah! Jump into the sea. Perhaps, John Bart, I didn't fail you. Your life and hers were both founded on hate. Now you both have been dead. 
what you did not have in life. is based on a story copyrighted by The Shadow Magazine. All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. The Shadow Magazine is now on sale at your local newsstand.